Hi, I'm Keith McCoy with Solution Self Chem. I want to introduce you to uh, Tebuthyuron ADWG. This is a uh, non selective herbicide, uh, wettable granule type, uh, that is uh, used for pre and post emergent weed control, heavy brush in uh, utility areas, rangelands, pasture lands, um, for long term control. Uh, so if you're looking to uh, get some bare ground control for six months or more, this is probably a good choice for you. We're out here in a utility area and we've got uh, a bunch of woody brush uh, and grasses and weeds that have grown up in this area and this is certainly an area that we want to keep free of vegetation. So we're going to use this product at uh, a rate of one ounce per 3,500 square feet and we're going to use it in a pump up type sprayer. Uh, we are uh, dependent upon rainfall to help us move this product into the soil which is then picked up by the root system of the plant and kills the entire plant that way. Uh, it's also, with the pre-emergent, uh, we want to try to be very selective in the time of year that we actually apply the product. So, uh, depending on the type of weed or brush that you're trying to control, when that seed, you want to try to put this product down just prior to that seed germinating, uh, maybe a month or so. Uh, so, if you give me just a second, we're going to get some of this product mixed up and uh, be right back and we're going to do an application. Okay, so we've got our product mixed up. Uh, we've mixed again one ounce per gallon of water and we're gonna spray that over 3,500 square feet. So I've got that marked off. Um, again, we've got two modes of action going on here. We've got the pre-emergent and we've got post-emergent activity. So uh, we're about mid-May right now. Um, and so uh, we've got a lot of seeds that still have not germinated, uh, but are getting ready to in the next 30 days or so. And then of course, we've got some vegetation that's already come up. So uh, this is uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to use the Tebuthyuron is uh, because we got both kind of going on right now and because of the time of year we're in. So we're gonna go ahead and start making our application. Again, uh, we're gonna uh, depend on mother nature a little bit here to help us uh, water some of this product down into the soil. Remember this product is not picked up uh, or translocated through the leaf tissue, rather it is picked up by the root system. Um, and of course if you're spraying in an area where you have some uh, vegetation that you don't want to take out, such as some trees and things like that, be careful not to spray in the root zone of those particular plants. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and finish up spraying this area right here and uh, take me about 15-20 minutes and I'll be right back with you. Okay, we finished up this area right here. I think we've done a, a pretty good job of preventing some of this uh, brush and uh, other weeds from actually encroaching into the uh, uh, area where the utility areas are here. Uh, remember the Tebuthyron ADWG, great product uh, for bare ground control. You've got the uh, pre-emergent and post-emergent activity. It is, however, dependent upon uh, rainfall to actually carry it down into the uh, soil. Uh, where it's picked up by the root system. So it does not translocate through the foliage. It actually works in the soil. Uh, there's also Tebuthyron 20P, which is a pelletized uh, herbicide. Uh, so if you uh, uh, think that that might be a better choice for you rather than the WG, then you might try that product uh, too. It, uh, it applies at a rate of one ounce per hundred square feet, and you just broadcast that product. Uh, for more tips or advice, uh, contact us at 800-479-6583. I'm Keith McCoy with Solution Self Kim. Ask us how, then do it yourself.